six problems I faced while using Xiaomi Poco X3. For three months it was my main and only device and this video will not be too long, I will try to make it as informative as possible uh, for you and today we will consider only the disadvantages and problems. But first let's briefly talk about money. What happened to the price? I bought this phone for 240 US dollars and in three months price almost did not fall and now it costs 220. To be honest, I thought that the price would fall to 200. We will wait further for it. Guys, under this video I will leave my referral links at the best prices for this phone. And if you buy yourself something via these links, then it will not cost you more and I will get some kind of a penny for this and we'll do more and more videos for you. Smartphone Xeria. What happened to it after three months? And the answer is nothing. Everything is just awesome. And there are good reasons for it. I used it in a case that comes in the box and I did not rip off the screen protector that was on it either. I never dropped Poco. You know, sometimes it so happens that small grains of sand get under these silicon cases and then the back of the smartphone is crashed. But here everything is okay, despite the plastic back cover of the phone. In short, let's get to the heart of this video. The first thing I want to tell you about and what I immediately noticed is the volume of the earpiece. The call volume is too high, even at the lowest level. If you, for example, work in a quiet office, then everyone around you will hear person on the other end of the line. And to be honest, I hate this. And uh, so you cannot just take and fix the volume level easily. You need an unlocked bootloader and the root of the phone. But with the root, warranty is lost. So I personally don't want to do this. If you work in noisy conditions, then this problem will not even be noticeable for you. The second thing I want to tell you about is that after a while contactless payment just stopped working and guys I couldn't launch it again. I uninstalled updates, deleted accounts, rebooted, additionally went through all sorts of cleanups and the result is nothing. Most likely a hard reset would help but I didn't want to do this because I already constantly jump from phone to phone and already really got bored with the setting up of my accounts and applications. And the question is, for how long would it help? Maybe I rested it, it would have worked for a week and then struggle again. Who knows? The third is the resonating back cover. Of course, it's cool that Poco X3 has stereo speakers here, but because of this, when any sound is played through these speakers, the back cover vibrates right into your fingers. Vibration from the sound gives off even through the case, and accordingly the louder you make it, the greater the vibration. If you buy yourself this smartphone, then keep that in mind. The fourth thing I would like to share with you is the problem with the mobile internet. It sometimes worked very poorly even with a full antenna. What was the matter? The site simply did not load and to be honest I thought that it was my operator. I thought that it was his problem but over time I realized that it was not his problem but problem was mine. But there are good news, I found a solution on forums so please listen if you have the same problem. Go to settings sim cards and mobile networks choose sim card with your internet provider access point names arrow on the right side of the screen crawl all the way down to the barrier by rear and tick everything from LTE. Indeed, after applying these settings, the internet becomes stable. But, but it's not clear what the hell it was and why it does not work right away from the box like all phones. The fifth is lag. Yes, thanks to 120Hz, the system feels smooth, but there is a slowdown and lags in gesture mode. Recently in Xiaomi smartphones I began to use the gesture mode. I like to use it, but compared so to speak with the old push button control, the gesture mode control lags. This is especially seen in the most often used gesture swipe from the bottom to call the menu of run the application. My version of MIUI is 12.0.4, by the way in my Redmi Note 9 Pro, MIUI 12.0.1 and there the animations look smoother. Well, the sixth thing I encountered was a yellowing smartphone screen. 
and then I didn't immediately guess what the problem was. You just simply go to the internet and suddenly the screen starts to turn terribly yellow for no reason. It's like night mode is turning on. And I thought, what the hell again? This is already really irritates me. Of course, I started googling this problem and it turns out, thanks God, it has a solution. And you know who was guilty? The Google Chrome. In short, what should you do? Directly in Chrome, type Chrome Flex. Uh, there we find dynamic color gamut and disable it. The yellow screen shouldn't bother you anymore. Whew, these are six problems that I faced while I used my Poco X3. I don't know, maybe it's just me, everything bad happens just to my phones, but those who have Poco, please write in the comments about your experience using the smartphone. And you know guys that the problem with negative reviews on the internet is that they are written more often and they are more noticeable than positive reviews. It's because why should someone write positively about this or that product if everything works and everything is fine. If you if you want to hear more honest reviews about smartphones, then subscribe to my AZRV channel with notification bell. I ask you, please do not subscribe if you are subscribing without a bell. Without a bell, just pass by. If we talk about the smartphone in general, then it is difficult for me to call it not problematic, because I really ran into some questions that I had to somehow solve during use. Something as you can see was resolved, but the most unacceptable for me from what I have listed above is not even the lags in the system and not the contactless payment that stopped working after some weeks and not the vibrating backlit but the volume of the earpiece. I am personally enraged by the fact that a person sitting next to me hears who am I talking to as if you're having a conversation with all people that sit next to you. I understand that someone will write this can be fixed with your hands that grow out of the right place. I want to argue with you because an ordinary user will definitely not unlock the bootloader and root the smartphone. And besides, this can affect your warranty. Okay guys, so I hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Links in description if you want to buy anything for yourself. My name is Evgeny. If you did not subscribe to my AZRV channel with notification bell if you didn't yet. And have a nice day. And have a nice life. Всем добра.